John Bostock was a pioneer in organic apple growing on a large scale in this country. His latest move is the result of a desire to attract and retain quality staff. Recently, a modern kitchen and cafeteria has been built on the company site, offering low-cost, healthy lunches made largely from organic ingredients grown on the site. John explains. My wife and I, for years, have dreamed about doing something like this because we've been very conscious of food our team have been eating. And I've looked at some of their lunches in horror. Chippies and pies and mellow yellow and Fanta and Coca-Cola and realised that their lunches are absolutely terrible and actually not good for their own productivity, let alone their health or their learning ability or, and whatever. And over the last five years we've been planning it and in the last 12 months we've been able to put it into effect. It was just a standard staff cafeteria. So we've redesigned it, spruced it up, made it friendly and enjoyable. So make lunch a, a company occasion for people to sit down and talk and exchange ideas and make it a, a, a company meeting place, not only for the white collar workers, but uh, for blue collar workers and casual workers and anybody who wants. We try and use our own organic products and we buy in organic products and the aim is to have 100% organic and try and balance the food with protein, vegetables and a salad and introduce people to a really healthy, sustaining diet. So at three o'clock in the afternoon they're not starving after they come down from their sugar high. Arno, our chef, is really important to us. He's a trained French chef who understands what we're driving at and trying to produce balanced and healthy meals for our team. We've had a few teething issues, as with all new enterprises, but it's been unbelievably positive, not only from our staff, but we're allowing the public to come in, and they're coming and enjoying it, and it's growing in popularity day by day. In fact, some days it's, it's hard to get a meal here. Well, I came to New Zealand about 15 years ago. Um, I lived in London and in France before that. I uh, worked in lots of different restaurants. I work at big hotels, the Ritz and so forth. I work for the Rue Brothers. I also work for Sam Morton, which is really quite famous in the Bay. My job is to, to feed um, not only the, the pack house workers and the orchard people, but also the office staff. So we've got to come up with ideas about, that's going to please everyone, is going to be attractive to everyone and nutritious for everyone. So that's why we've got two sizes. You can have a large and a small. The big boys will have a large one, the fist lady will have a small one. Every day is different. There's no choices, so it's pretty simple. You know, it's, uh, we offer a salad if you don't want uh, the main meal, which uh, quite a lot of people take. Uh, in the winter we do a soup as well, as an extra. So basically organic, fresh, local, uh, and those are the main drives and healthy. Luckily we produce quite a bit, so all the chickens, the pumpkin, the onions come from us already. Um, yeah, in the, uh, I mean, by the end of winter, you really, as a chef, you really get excited when spring is coming and you're gonna get lots of new vegetables and, and so forth, because in the winter, you know, um, trying to create five menus every day with just pumpkin and beetroot can, can be a bit of a challenge. But, you know, I think we're doing quite well. And we, you know, we get lots of the dry beans and so forth, which are organic as well. So, um, yeah, that's the challenge to make it not only for, for the people, but for us as well. We're lucky enough that, you know, uh, we're not really limited on really what we can do. So, you know, I d we do a lot of tra traditional dishes, you know, things that can be done in bulk. But, you know, I think we still offer good quality and nutritious and flavoursome food as well. <laughs> Today we've got a raw chicken, uh, which is uh, with stuff with mallet, which is a grain. And we put some herbs and uh, dried fruits through it. And the whittled grains are just uh, mixed, jarred, sorted off. And that's pretty much it. The feedback has been great. I mean, the, you know, the staff never seems, you know, I mean, you know, we chat to them all the, you know, we serve them. So we, you know, it's always a good communication and um, 
It's n yeah, everybody seems very happy with what we've got. John is happy, so that's uh, one of the main things. And, and, uh, and we're building up in, in the, uh, with the public as well. So. We used to go down to the local, drifting down the road, all the greasy, all the grease food, and spend a lot of money down there. I was spending yeah, around 140 a week, and yeah, that's, that was a big whack out of my pay. We had pies, chips, uh, you name it, <laughs> you name it, yeah. My kids at home, no kids don't really like greens, <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, they're eating the greens now, slowly eating the greens. And um, our cook, you know, he gives us different ways of, of making it, making it nice for the kids. Well, it's real healthy and um, yeah, real filling. You can eat heaps and still got the energy. And at the start of the season, well, I lost you know, a few kgs. It's, I'm getting I'm still losing it. I've worked around a lot of companies, and John's the only one that has did this for us. So it's real good. Cheap as nine dollars for large, seven dollars for small. But I only get large. <laughs> <laughs> Our company's goal was to make the lunches accessible to all. And we deduct directly from their wages so no money has to change hands, so it's relatively seamless and easy. Philosophically, we're totally committed to doing it. It's not a new idea. In Europe, a lot of companies feed their staff and give them a subsidised meal, so I've basically copied a European idea. We're planning on expanding it and um, making more lunches available, uh, making uh, takeaway lunches possible so uh, lunches can go out into the fields as much as possible. It's all, that's already happening, but uh, try and increase that and uh, build up the, the, the lunch business. At the moment, it, it is costing us a bit of money to subsidise it, but the hope is in the future we won't have to subsidise it if we can build up the numbers. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.